What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? I'm back, and today I'm be sharing with you guys a few things that I think that Rockstar could do to make Red Dead 2 online a little bit better. If you guys played this game on a daily, you would know that this game is severely lacking content and can get boring very quickly. They need to start adding things because the player count is dropping drastically day after day. There's just not many things to do. To make money, it's three things, and that's it. Hunting, fishing, and doing the game modes online, which earns you, earns you nothing, basically. It's it's really bad right now. But, um, yeah, one thing that they really need to add is heist and the ability to rob stores in the game. Um, I don't know if you guys knew, but it took GTA Online about a year and a half to add heist into their game so they're going to do it I think this game has been out for half a year a little bit over maybe half a year they're going to add heist to this game it's just a matter of when and um yeah just a simple option of being able to rob a store or being able to rob people as well that could definitely you know help out the game a little bit you know give you a little bit of cash here and there and just more things to do in the game because there's not a lot of things to do in the game with your friends and whatnot and I definitely think that could help. Coming up with my next thought is you should be able to buy carts and wagons in the game. You should be able to purchase them and have them to be yours. Um, I know a lot of people that fish in this game, especially me, I'll be looking around, you know, a town for a long time and not able to find a uh, cart because, you know, you have to stockpile the northern pike or the gar or whatever you're fishing you know stockpiling them in the carts is the best way to make money during fishing and um yeah sometimes i'll be looking for 10 minutes 20 minutes and i won't even be able to find one and um yeah i just think a simple thing like that could definitely help i think you should be able to customize the wagons that you buy change the colors you know maybe the wheels i don't know the top of the wagon and uh maybe the horse even the horses that um that ride your wagon and ride your wagon around. I think that would definitely help. And uh yeah. The next thing I want to bring up to your guys' attention is if you played the storyline, you know there are hot air balloons in this game. I really think that they should add hot air balloons that you can buy in this online. I think it would be great for the game. I, I think it would be one of the best things that they could do for the game, honestly. Cause um I mean I know this isn't you know GTA and you can't you know fly around fucking planes and you know fly around helicopters and whatnot but I think in this there is an option to fly in the sky and at this time it, it's a hot air balloon um I think adding that into the game you know is pretty damn good you know even if it if it's a uh, expensive purchase it's just something that you can grind towards and you know work towards to get because I think that'd be pretty damn cool maybe add like a Gatling gun to it or something just something cool you know just something really that you want to work towards and uh, with my next point I think that there should be more story missions in the game I mean there's not many at all I think there's like eight <laughs> at most and it's very very small amount um, I had pretty fun doing the story missions with my friends and whatnot I just there, there just needs to be more. The last mission in the game, it gives you $250, and that's pretty damn decent. I think they need to add more missions like that. And just, you know, more things to do with your friends. It's just, there's not enough, obviously. And adding story missions could, you know, definitely help. And uh, that's something they need to look towards. My next thing that I think that they need to do is give the ability to purchase farms and properties like houses in the game. I think it would be, you know, pretty cool if they had a system just like just like GTA Online where you can purchase your house and you know if people can come over and you can just do whatever you want, drink, smoke, do whatever, have the party in the house. And uh, I think that's pretty cool. I think with a farm, if you buy a farm, there should definitely be a th thing where, like, you could plant crops maybe, and, you know, maybe every, like, three days in real time, or maybe every week or something, you, you know, all of them are grown, and you get money from that. I think that'd be pretty cool, you know, spend money to get the seeds and whatnot, and if you don't get on and water your crops, they will die, and then you lose all your money. 
but if you do it and water your crops and do what you're supposed to, I think, you know, mm, you know, you get a decent amount of money. I think that'd be pretty cool. I've never seen any online game have that type of feature, and I definitely think it would help the game. My sixth thing that I think that they could do to help the game is add more clothing options, more personalization for your person. And um, yeah, like GTA Online has an insane amount of customization. This game doesn't even reach 1% of what GTA's closed customization is. Um, it, it's pretty pathetic, honestly. I think they just need to add more clothes. You know, just more things that you can, you know, just more options to make your dude look different. And uh, I think that would definitely help. I mean, more clothes, what's not to like about that? Because there's really almost n n nothing in the game right now. The next thing I want to bring up is legendary animals. You should definitely be able to hunt legendary animals in online. Um, as of right now, there is none. Um, I think it would definitely help out all the people that love to hunt in this game. That's me I, and you know a bunch of other people. I, I do like to hunt in this game a lot. It just it gets boring very fast. And you know if you if they gave the option to where you could hunt down one of the legendary animals while running and you know hunting other animals, you know you could find one of those type of animals I think that would definitely definitely increase the amount of fun that you can have while hunting in this game the next thing that they need to do is add private lobbies and a passive mode in the game um, I know there's a parlay mode but it only lasts for 10 minutes and it's quite fucking annoying whenever you're getting griefed every single second of the day because that's just what people are like in this game if they had that, that would definitely fix a lot of issues. And they can even do any, something better than that and just add private lobbies. You know, have your own private lobby where you can invite whoever you want. I think that would be amazing. They need to do that. Just something simple like that could really help this game out a lot. The next thing that I think they could do to really help out the game is give the ability to travel to Guarma, the island. Um, there's a ton of new species of animals there in the story mode. I think if they added that into online it would be great. Um, you actually can go to Guarma by doing a glitch but you shouldn't have to do it that way and once you go there there's nothing there. It's lifeless. There's nothing. No new animals. Nothing. I think if they did what they did in story mode but in online I think that would be very good. And um, yeah that brings me to my last point of the day. I think that there needs to be more or new random encounters. Um, I, there isn't any actually really at all. And um, if they added them, you know, it's just something, you know, something new that could, you know, just make the game a little bit better. You know, give you an, a, a reason to go out and search for some type of random person or some crazy ass person. Something cool, just like the story mode, just something like that. Something small, you know, it, it would definitely help. And uh, yeah, guys, that's really all I have for you guys today. That's all of my points that I think that could really make this game better. Um, if you like the video, make sure, as always, you look out for the cookout and drop that like. Subscribe if you're liking the content. I really appreciate all, all you guys subscribing. I'm at 93 subscribers at the moment, and that's pretty crazy for me, honestly. And uh, I just want to thank, give a thank you to all of you. And, uh, yeah, guys, until next time.